Welcome to Guns, Guns, Gear, and Guns with Gary Gunderson. I am Gary Gunderson. The state of Washington's legislature decided to pass an assault weapons ban, which the governor has already said she will sign. And their definition of assault weapon is exactly as nonsensical and baseless as you would expect as assembled by politicians. House Bill 1240 bans the manufacture, importation, distribution, selling, and offering for sale of assault weapons. Of course, they will let the government and police continue to have them. It contains a rambling section with all the normal justifications for this sort of government overreach that assault weapons are civilian versions of weapons created for the military and are designed to kill humans quickly. Though, as you will see, it bans all sorts of firearms that are definitely not weapons created for the military and will allow many firearms that were created for the military. It also provides statistics without any source about the use of assault weapons in mass shootings, which is an absurd contention because their definition is not universal, so I am dubious that the studies referenced actually pertain to this definition. It also maintains that so-called assault weapons are not used in self-defense, even though they are and there are plenty of examples. It starts out by outlining several models that are straight up banned, including some oddly specific or seemingly random examples regardless of configuration. Of course, they ban all AK-47s and 74s, AR-15s, SETMEs, Barrett 50 Cals, Fowls, G3s, MP5s, AUGs, FAMASes, 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 Galils, Daewoo's Scars, but also surprisingly the SKS, which sometimes escapes this type of ban and in certain configurations would actually pass their specific requirements outlined after this list. It also specifically bans the Algamic AGM-1, which is an obscure Italian bullpup, which Forgotten Weapons has a video on. I have no idea how that got on the specifically banned list. It mentions the FNF-2000, which is actually the full auto version of the civilian marketed FS-2000. So the FS-2000 is not specifically banned, which is probably a mistake because it does specifically mention the PS-90. It then lists the features that make something an evil and felonious assault weapon in Washington. Any semi-auto rifle less than 30 inches. It's not the size that counts, it's how you use it. Having the parts on hand that could convert whatever survives this nonsense of a bill into an assault weapon counts as having an assault weapon. A semi-automatic centerfire rifle that accepts detachable box magazines and has any of the following. Pistol grip, and they specifically call out the fin that manufacturers used to try get around the ban in California and other places as still counting as a pistol grip. Thumbhole stock, folding or telescoping stock, forward pistol, vertical, angled, or other grip designed to be used by non-firing hand to improve control, a threaded barrel, and apparently anything that could be threaded onto it, including all manner of flash hiders, silencers, or muzzle brakes, grenade and flare launchers, a heat shield or shroud, except for a solid forearm of a stock that covers only the bottom of the barrel and any semi-automatic centerfire rifle that has a fixed magazine of more than 10 rounds. Some of these are pretty odd, only allowing for something on the bottom of the barrel to act as a heat shield is oddly specific. I guess they really hate the C-clamp grip and want you to burn your hand if you try to hold your firearm that way. Without these specific models that were banned, this actually leaves the door open. Like, I think a Ruger Ranch Mini-14 would still be legal. I could be missing something, but as long as it is long enough, there aren't any features on it that I can see that would violate this ban. But of course, it's not just semi-automatic rifles, it goes further. Semi-automatic pistols with detachable magazines are assault weapons if they have any of the following. 
a threaded barrel, which specifically mentions forward hand grip threaded onto the barrel, which I'm not familiar with at all. Other things that could be threaded onto the barrel. A second hand grip, a heat shroud except for a solid forearm that covers only the bottom of the barrel, or the ability to accept the magazine in something other than the pistol grip, which is bad for some reason. And if you thought shotguns were safe, think again. It also bans any semi-automatic shotgun with any of the following. Folding or telescopic stock, pistol grip, thumb hole stock, forward pistol angled or other grip, fixed magazine in excess of seven rounds, or revolving cylinder shotguns. The joke about how the old assault rifle bands were literally just changing the grip makes it super deadly and evil holds true for shotguns in Washington. A semi-auto with a rifle grip is fine, but once you get a pistol grip on there, whoo boy, that's bad. Also, you can have all these features on a pump shotgun, and it is fine because you can't shoot people with that. It's not efficient. Even though they begin the bill by saying that assault weapons are military weapons for civilian use, the bill actually focuses on specific models and then features, because some of the models banned could be made featureless and still be legal if they had not been specifically outlined as banned. So it has nothing to do with military weapons of war on the streets at all. They think the grip angle is important. They want it to be less safe so you can burn your hand on a hot barrel. They want it to be inconvenient to transport so you can't have a folding or collapsing stock. They don't want it to be controllable so you can't have a muzzle brake or secondary grip. They don't want you to be courteous so you can't have a flash hider or silencer. And they don't want anything that looks too scary so you can't have a pistol with a magazine that inserts anywhere other than the pistol grip. It is another piece of absurd gun control legislation and fear-mongering by a government wanting to control every facet of your life and disregard your own rights. Be sure to vote. That's all I have for today. Can you think of any models of semi-auto rifles that are currently commercially available that would pass this new ban? Let me know in the comments down below. Please support the channel by liking the video, commenting on it, sharing it, and subscribing to the channel. Also, support me on Patreon. Shout out to my current only patron. So join and keep him company. Thanks for watching.